Welcome back everybody. Today we have some good news for you for once. So if you haven't heard already and you didn't guess it from the title of the video, a judge in California has thrown out the assault weapons uh, law in California, basically saying it's unconstitutional. So uh, California's had this law, I think, since 1989. So for decades, they've been living under repression um, and it's been thrown out. Now there's good news, which is that and then there's some not so good news that we'll get to a little bit later on in the video um, but just real quick for those of you who don't live in california side note one in seven gun owners live in california so a lot of gun owners live out there but for those of you who don't like myself what is an assault weapon in california well the law defines it as such i'm only going to do a little bit of reading in this video but some parts are pertinent um under section uh 30 515A, a rifle is labeled an assault rifle, assault weapon rather, if it is one of three principal types. The first type is a semi-automatic centerfire rifle that does not have a fixed magazine but has one of the following prohibiting features. A pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the rifle, like on an AR-15 for example. A thumb hole stock, a folding or telescoping stock, a grenade or flare launcher, a flash suppressor, a, or a forward pistol grip. The second type is a semi-automatic center fire rifle that has a fixed magazine able to hold more than 10 rounds. The third type is a semi-automatic semi excuse me, center fire rifle that has an overall length of less than 30 inches. So that's what they define it as and that's why you see all those wonky things in California like um, bullet buttons, the fin grips and stuff like that and pin stocks and all the other nonsense that they have there. So um, the judge there in this case um, for those that don't know, he is a Cuban immigrant and obviously understands repression and totalitarian regimes. And I think that probably plays a little bit of a role into how he sees uh, the Second Amendment and just civil rights in general. If you guys remember a year or two ago now, there was the Freedom Week. Again, it was the same judge, Judge Benitez, that ruled in that case that allowed everyone there to purchase standard capacity magazines and made them legal for folks that purchased them during that period. Um, so same guy doing good work. Um, and his opening statement here in his ruling says, like a Swiss army knife, the popular AR-15 is a perfect combination of home defense weapon and homeland defense equipment. He gets it. That's the point, right? Owning an AR-15 or any type of semi-automatic rifle has nothing to do with hunting. It has to do with defense of yourself, your family, and the nation. Good for both home and battle, the AR-15 is the kind of versatile gun that lies at the intersection of the kinds of firearms protected under District of Columbia versus Heller and United States versus Miller. Yet the state of California makes it a crime to have an AR-15 type rifle. Therefore, this court declares the California statutes to be unconstitutional. Boom, mic drop, right? That is the big news there, right? Now, along with this, if you live in California today, can you go out and purchase it or build a normal rifle and a normal AR-15? Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. With this ruling, he put a 30 day stay on it. So what that means is within the next 30 days, and obviously this ruling was on the 4th of June, so if nothing happens on July 4th, um, you know, the assault weapons ban will officially be gone and people can build, buy, whatever, any type of rifle that they want um, in California, like the rest of the states. So um, with that 30 day stay, they have the ability to either, uh, the third circuit does to either, you know, have a hearing on it or put an indefinite stay or there's several different things they can do to sort of extend that out. Now, whether or not they will do so, who knows? Uh, politicians have been grandstanding all day though. Newsom's out there, um, Pelosi, all of them are out there saying this is outrageous. How dare you actually make our state free and in line somewhat with the constitution. Um, so they're upset about it, but again, it's not really up to them. Uh, the AG who of course works for Newsom can do something about it. Um, but whether or not he will uh, is to be seen yet. Uh, from what I've read online, again, I don't live in California, that man uh, is apparently angling to have a higher political office one day. So whether or not he wants to take this one on, we shall see. But for right now, it's a win in the sense that obviously it's moving the law in the right direction. And hat tip to uh, Firearms Policy Coalition, by the way, because they were Part of the group that worked to make this happen. But it's a move in the right direction for California. And this ruling, should it go through the third, uh, or excuse me, the Ninth Circuit Court, and then if it gets appealed beyond that and goes to the Supreme Court, has huge ramifications for the entire country, not just California. There's a whole lot of states that have nonsense like this going on in it, and it could eventually get even bigger than that in terms of scope. So um, what happens next is, you know, 
anybody's guess. You guys definitely let me know what you think down below in the comment section, but that is what has happened and what is likely to happen going forward. We shall see. So that's it guys, just a quick video. It's a 94 page brief. I will leave a link down below in the video description if you guys wanna check it out. But just a quick summary, that's what's going on. That's what we know. And uh, that's what it is right now. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.